trying this today. Hey, I like this bottle. I really like these cherries. They look really realistic. This is really good. Hello everyone, I'm Catherine Decina Sapolin, your beer mistress, and today I'm going to be reviewing Bellevue's Extra Creek Lambic. Fun fact, Bellevue is French for beautiful view. This brewery was founded in 1913 by Philemon van de Stock in Malenbeek. It was later purchased by InBev, which is one of the five companies that own all the beer in the world. All of them. Fun fact, Kirk is Dutch for sour cherry. Lambic is a brewery style from Belgium. A Lambic is only considered a real one if it was made in the Zena Valley. While Lambics can come in a variety of fruit flavors, traditionally they are made with cherries. This beer is considered a traditional Lambic. Lambics are made from a gris, which is a grain that has been separated from its chaff. The combination is 60 to 70% barley and 30 to 40% wheat. Wild yeast is used and it is left exposed, thus creating a spontaneous fermentation. This process can only occur in cold temperatures, else it will spoil the beer. After the first fermentation, cherries are added and left for a second. Then, dried aged hops are added to prevent spoilage, since they have natural preservatives. Let's try the beer. All right, now that we have our beer, it's all poured and yummy, let's try it out. And the first thing you're supposed to look at is the color. And it's a pretty color. I like this color. It's a burgundy red type color. It's pretty. I like it. That's important when you're tasting beer. I looked it up. Yeah, I'd say that it is definitely cherry colored. <laughs> Not sure that's very official beer review like. And. It smells fruity. I, I don't necessarily smell cherries. It smells really good. It smells sweet with beer. I think that's mighty impressive because my nose is partly broken. Now we taste it. Cheers. Okay, this is really good. Um, it doesn't necessarily taste like beer to me, but then I'm not an expert in beer. It's really sweet and tastes like candy, but they sort of taste like cherry soda almost. Yeah, like I'm not even getting a buzz. There is this uh, subtle like beer aftertaste, but yeah, it tastes more like cherry soda to me. Yeah, considering I'm still drinking this, I'm going to say it's really good and I would recommend it. Um, I think there are many beer people out there who would say this is a woman's beer. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a woman's beer, but as far as beers go, I think this tastes nice. I can understand why these are supposed to be dessert beers. I can see this going really down really well with something like cherry pie or something, because it's really good. Now there's no more. There's no more. Oh, that's sad. There's a little bit left. Oh. That leaves a nice smell in the glass. Okay, the smell inside the glass now, that smells cherry. I didn't smell it before. If you love beer and you want some more, check out Mercy's channel. She reviews American craft beers. Or check out my blog for my review on Hill Garden's white beer, link will be below. Subscribe to Stock Me, follow me on Twitter, and come back next Friday for a new Beer Mistress beer review. I will see you tomorrow. Tootsins, may apple scenes.